I feel like I should be taking notes. Yes! That's so cool! Guy with the cheese! Oh! oh! <laughs> Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The Horror Bandwagon. <laughs> My name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for hard analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another Buffy the Vampire Slayer reaction. Today we are covering season four, episodes 21 and 22, otherwise known as the season four finale. Yes. This is nuts. I can't believe we are here. I always say this all the time, but I, it's just like, I feel like the journey, I feel like we've watched one giant movie over the course of a few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, it's it's been awesome. It's been different, um, especially because, you know, this is post high school now. Mm -hmm. We're no longer in the, the setting that we used to know. Um, and now we're in somewhere new. And I kind of like, I, I give it up to the show for being able to transition to that and still maintain like a good, decent drive mm -hmm. of of a story i personally am still reeling off the high of how good season three was so but this this one is still still good in my eyes yeah absolutely i've been really loving this season i love that we got the little comedy vibes going on and i cannot wait for the next season to see where the story goes and some representation this yes. year with riley no i'm kidding i with tara and willow i love that relationship and i i just i just want i just want to see more i, I need more scenes with them yeah me too <laughs> now usually around this time is where i say what do you guys think do you guys want us to continue these reactions um i think we personally have now decided that we are going to do season five <laughs> on um, our own <laughs> on our own without y'all no i'm kidding <laughs> never <laughs> we are going to continue season five so hopefully you guys will be joining us for that but we are not going to make you wait any longer so before we get started make sure that you like this video subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video and if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon, where you will find full episode watch longs of every episode of Buffy that we've covered so far. And if you just can't wait to watch the season five opener, where we can head over on Patreon, so go check it out. Or you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. And with all that being said, we present to you the season four finale of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Let's get to slay <laughs> Almost time to wake up, Adam. Take your first look at the- Maggie Walsh returns. I know you're gonna make me proud. <laughs> Previously on Buffy- Maybe she does. Riley? Riley Finster, are you here? She implanted the behavior modifier. A chip in my head. Oh. She really did it. Actually, the chip is here. What? Maggie Wash still cursing us from the dead. Mm -hmm. Once you forget your old life and embrace your destiny as I have, you will know power you've never dreamed of. I think you're going to like it. Oh no. Now, if he does unspeakable things, he can join he can join Angel, he can join Faith in the box of shame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Demons cling to old ways and ancient feuds, and they're hopeless with technology. Unworthy. Not really wanting a lecture right now. No, well, you have no choice. She saw the role that you will play by my side. Stand up. Damn. You see, we are brothers after all. Now bop it. <laughs> Twist it. <laughs> Slightly stiffer than usual. That's what she said? Subtle, but I like it. He likes it stiff. You get yours removed when the Slayer is where I want her. She's separated from her friends. They want nothing to do with it. Exactly. Humans. She will achieve maximum carnage before she's too weak to go on. No. Oh, you can't stop God. talking. Aww. The friends from whom you've so officially separated her. Damn right I did. You should have seen them. They won't be talking to each other for a long, long... That means she won't be able to go down there. Okay, let's not quibble about who failed who. The important thing <laughs> is making sure the Slayer is where we want. Go. Go. I guess you bring her down there, Spike. 
Um, oh, uh, pardon the robe. That's a late <laughs> start. It looks comfy. Would you like a good robe? Uh, uh, will you be working here? You know, typing, talking? Because <laughs> <laughs> he needs some rest. Okay. Oh. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait, stop it. Let's be friends again. Yeah. Oh. What is that? Season one, season two? You said you wanted to check the board at the unemployment office this morning. You can't go like that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still upset about that fight you had with your friends? It was hours ago. Get over it. Anya, you... <laughs> She hasn't known a real friend. So what if they are? Oh. You're a good person and a good boyfriend, and but I'm in love with you. Oh. <laughs> Stop! I don't make me cry. Where are you? Oh. <gasps> Things are about to get interesting. Didn't you? Professor Walsh? What? This is all how she planned it. What? <gasps> oh no. God. He's a science experiment. Wow, this is this is leading into the horror right now. Mm -hmm. Like it's a science fiction horror. Willow has the desks. Well, I'd get on that. Can't ignore valuable information just because you two birds fell out now, can you? Oh, how'd how does you know? He know? Must be programmed to self decrypt at a certain point. That is so annoying. It, it's like somebody <laughs> blurting out the answer. <laughs> you would hate that. Mommy can hear you, but she's still a walking corpse. So are you. Uh, mm -mm. uh, uh. No, girl. Oh, fuck. We're going to have an, ar an actual army. And that's why Adam wants. Buffy to go to the initiative and take out as many humans and demons as possible so he can throw them all in a blender and make hybrids, hybrid soldiers. Can't control my Riley. He's a good boy. Oh. No. Uh, and he can't move out. He can't move out of that place. Spike, specifically, but <laughs> I told you that we thought you'd be better off joining the army. That's not exactly what he said spike is the common denominator stuff we said the other night of course well piffle let's 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 move on i'm piffle me too piffling spike's working for adam after all we've done nah i can't even act surprised <laughs> <laughs> adam's gonna make sure the demons attack the initiative from the inside demons versus soldiers massacre massacre mm -hmm. exactly does anybody else miss the mayor? I just want to be a big <laughs> snake. <laughs> I do agree that the mayor was a much more like charismatic, mm -hmm. uh, e big bad. He's not worried you might kill, oh, say, him? No. No. He's really not. Why? Come on, we had a deal. When she's here. Damn. Damn. Moving the goalpost. Spike, it's not happening. You gotta face it. You can encant it, and you have to be within striking distance of the subject. See what you get for taking French instead of Sumerian? What was I thinking? <laughs> if only we had an experienced witch here. It's very powerful. It's also extraordinarily dangerous. Game faces, guys. We're going in. Oh my god. Are they going to, like, basically merge Buffy's ass kicking ability with willow's magic <gasps> that would be badass not your fault spike stirred up trouble yeah but i think trouble was stir upable i think he knew the right pinpoints i've been so wrapped up in my own stuff i've been a bad friend you're the slayer buffy your stuff is pretty crucial i mean riley it tends to happen you did the same thing with angel mm -hmm to tell you but i was so scared yeah. you can tell me anything i love you oh oh i love this communication 
You know we love you, right? We totally do. Oh God, we're gonna die, aren't we? <laughs> Everybody ready? Let's do this. I mean, they probably heard you coming down the elevator. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we weren't the most secretive. Well, maybe we can work together with them to defeat Adam. She's not alone. You failed me again. Technically, it's just the same failure repeated. Twice. <laughs> oh my god, is he seeing the spike? Oh! Oh! All right, always carry a cigarette with you. Like. It's a gourd. Uh, yeah. Magic gourd. Magic gourd? And 24 hour surveillance. Including the secret lab? Including everything. What secret lab? Oh my god. <laughs> Hit him simultaneously with multiple taser blasters. Incapacitate him with as much voltage as we can muster. Oh. You, the initiative, the boys at the Pentagon, you're all in way over your heads. Messing with primeval forces you have absolutely no comprehension of. And she's trying to save you. Also, she said primeval. Clink. Oh god. Yep. Oh my God. Oh. These people are under arrest. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Oh, there you go. There you go. Imagine they were like, we were gonna let you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, effects, Spongey. Oh shit, everyone's getting it. Spike, what are you doing? You're doing that too? Well, he is allowed with the chip to fight. To fight other demons, demons yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's gnarly. Oh. It's Adam. Are you sure? It's Adam. We're going to 314. Now all we have to do is get there. Yeah. It's so crazy that this is happening right now and it's like the 21st episode. Okay. Xander coming through. This is wild. Well, yeah, this is like, holy shit, budget. <laughs> What if we broke something in the bag? I was gonna say. Is this place okay to be Magic Central? It uh, should do. As long as we don't get blowed up or nothing. Oh God. <laughs> yes, Willow with the strength. Say something. Ooh, that's so scary. Kill her. I thought you'd never ask. Oh, oh, she's so scary. Miss Walsh is fucking horrifying. Mm -hmm. Power of the Slayer and all who wield it. Last to ancient first, we invoke thee. Grant Powers of the witches rise, course unseen across the skies. No, oh, it, it seems <gasps> like oh. he broke free. He broke free. He said Buffy. There we go. Concentrate. What? What? Oh! Oh! He's trying to take out the chip. Oh! In Manus, the hand. Oh! Oh! Okay, Gore. Oh, yes, yes. Come on, Riley. She's got me. Yes. Oh, thank you. Look who's come off the bench. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are we defe defeating Adam in this episode? I do appreciate violence. Good. Oh. 
that would have put a hole to your stomach. Broke your arm. Got another. Oh. Oh, what? what? <laughs> Bring us to the vessel. Take us now. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. What the fuck? Oh. Yes. You can't last much longer. We can. <gasps> we, we are, are forever. forever. We are forever. I'm oh. Oh. That's so cool. What are you making me do this for? Not that I'm not enjoying myself. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Let me put that right back in for you. Mm -hmm. Hope to grasp the source of our power. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh! Oh! Put that down before you get cancer. <laughs> yeah, God knows what that what's in there. Whoa, okay. Oh, that was so <laughs> Oh! <gasps> Spike, you saved us. You probably just saved us so we wouldn't stake you right here. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> we still got men out there. Well, let's go save them by gum. You guys get to the exit, so get open. You, organize the soldiers, pull them back. Also, maybe go to the hospital. Actions of a deserter and a group of civilian insurrectionists that our losses were not total. Okay, that's true. It is therefore a recommendation that this project be terminated and all records concerning it expunged. Wow. Burn it down and salt the earth. Not the government, just like getting rid of every single piece of evidence. Oh my God. Okay, cool. Cool, we're gonna end it up there. All right guys, so that was our reaction to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season four, episode 21, Prime Evil. Now, what are your thoughts? What an episode. Oh my gosh. We got the big bad fight. Riley saved himself. I love that. That made me so happy. Even though good. I am pretty sure that he does need medical attention because he stuck his hand uh. inside his own body. Um, I was not expecting it to wrap up on one episode. Yeah, I'm wondering what the next one's gonna be about. I guess maybe just like uh, closing loose ends to to end the season, you know? Yeah, I was a little worried because of the way they said council that I was like, is this the Watchers Council that's also you doing this? You jumped the gun a little bit, but but <laughs> I, based on the rest of that scene, I don't think that it was the Watchers Council. But yeah, I man. This was such a good episode. I also love that they got to come after the last episode where everyone was was having a big falling out and all come together and defeat Adam as a team. Yeah. Because Buffy needed her friends in order to defeat him. She couldn't do it alone. And I think Adam knew that. Adam knew that. I mean, obviously he did. But mm -hmm. I think once he saw that, he knew he was in trouble. So, I, yeah, I really appreciate that part, too. I personally love this episode. I love how just boss of the walls they went to for everything explosions fight scenes mm -hmm. demon like they they took into account each individual demon what they look like i just i just love this whole action-packed uh scene and it's it's what we've been working towards you yeah. know um i love that willow got to show off her magic and was able to use that magic to give buffy that extra strength that she needed mm -hmm. um in order to defeat um adam which was which was great so I, I'm really, really happy with how that ended. I'm glad that we kind of got rid of Adam already. But again, I don't know. We, we're we don't really defeat. That was our big bad. Yeah. So like, are we just gonna take a chill? Are we going to just be with our friends for now? Um, we we shall see. Yeah, I don't know. I th I will say that this is giving me a little bit of a like, why don't we just do this with everybody kind of vibe, like. 
make her the all-powerful like i can literally make a uranium heart disappear into oh, some yeah. other dimension <laughs> like it's sort of like the eagles picking up frodo at the end of lord of the rings spoiler alert but Ooh. like i i but i also feel like there's there has to be some toll to this like they seem exhausted oh After yeah i work. mean that I'm, it, well we also want to see like where spike goes from here mm -hmm. because he also still has the chip in his in his brain so That's it's true he died uh, so what is gonna happen or maybe like i don't know the chip won't work anymore well we shall see so we'll stop talking for now and we are gonna move on to the next episode oh wait this is so weird we because don't we have a have, cold like, open opener. oh my god you sure you'll be all right so I can be there in the morning. It's just a debriefing. They're not gonna make me disappear and they're not pinning anything on me. Mm, this is the US government we're talking about. Yeah, I, <laughs> I still don't, don't trust it. It was very nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you, finally. Do you notice how pointedly I said finally? No. Okay, so Joyce felt it. <laughs> Joyce felt the separation. Did she get anything less part of darknessy? Apocalypse Now is a gay romp. It's a feel-good movie of whatever year it was. A gay what else? I feel like that was pointed. <laughs> Are we watching it with them? Oh, oh, no. This is how movie night usually goes in our house, though. That's so cute. Yo, Cody will fall asleep immediately. immediately. I kind of feel like that should have been first and then the theme song. <laughs> But all their minds are connected now. So what does that mean? It was a spell that they did. Are we going to go to like a dream world? I think I should worry that we haven't found her name. Who? Miss Kitty? Oh. You don't know everything about me. <gasps> Have you told me your real name? Oh, you know that. What? What does that mean? I don't want to leave here. Why not? I wonder what the meaning of that text is. I know. This is so trippy. Okay, cat. Don't be looking at me like that. Sometimes I think about two women doing a spell. And then I do a spell by myself. <laughs> Xander! <laughs> Now, if we're in the mind of um, Willow, is that what she thinks of Xander? Oh, somebody's yeah. got stage fright. Isn't this the first class? Well, you showed up later, you'd have a better part. <laughs> I'm cowboy guy. Cowboy guy. Wait, he kind of looks adorable. Wait, wasn't this like, wasn't this Willow's like nightmare in that nightmare episode? All right, everyone, pay attention. In just a few moments, that curtain is going to open on our very first. Oh, Giles, he's a director. Did he ever see it's not about behaving, it's about hiding. I'm the audience wants it. to find you, <gasps> strip oh. you naked, and eat you alive. So hide. Stop that. <laughs> and if Willow can stop stepping on everyone's cues, I know this will be the best production of Death of a Salesman we've ever done. Stop it. Good luck, everyone. Break a leg. If Willow can step on everyone's cues, I wonder if that's like symbolic to like what's happening in her life right now. Need a little space for the cheese slices. Oh, is it crap? He said I made more space for the cheese slices. I think they're really not doing things in the proper way. And now I'm in a play and my whole family's out there. And why is there a cowboy in Death of a Salesman? In <laughs> and she's not prepared. Is there something following me? Yes. Tara, help us. Why have you come to our lonely small town, which has no post office and very few exports? <laughs> They'll punish you. I, I can't help you with that. I, what's after me? I, is it something I, I was supposed to do? And what is our secret? Brain three billion of you passing around the same worn out urge. Men with your sails. Oh, oh, careful! Having to explain where in this is just my outfit. Willow, everybody already knows. Take it off. <laughs> Are we gonna like take off our skin or something? Everybody very clear on this now? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my God, it's like a tragedy. She feels like her season one self. <laughs> Oh! 
Oh, fuck, fuck. I feel like I should be taking notes. <laughs> Did they, like, let something in when they open themselves up to the... I, I think so. It's like, to, like some spirit. What's her deal? Big faker. Oh, I'm beginning to understand this. Now, Big it's all about... Baker. Mrs. Summers, we're not making too much noise down there, are we? Oh, no. Anyway, they all left a while ago. And she's dressed in red. I'm a comfortador also. <laughs> I do know the difference. <laughs> I've learned about boys. Is this like a fascination he's had of like Buffy's mom? It would be a first. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna find another bathroom. You are just witnessing us be vulnerable. I didn't order any vampires. Oh no, I'm nervous. The music is making me know that I'm nervous. Wait, wait. It's kind of cute. Hey, there you are. Oh, I did miss Giles in a suit. Spike's like a son to me. Well, that's good. I was into that for a while, but I got other stuff going on. I was into that for a while. I wonder if that meant like Xander thought that Giles thought of him as a son. I think so. And moved on to Spike. Way ahead of you, big brother. Brother. Come on, put your back into it. A watcher scoffs at gravity. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about getting back into vengeance. Oh. That's an important conversation. And borders in an end zone. It doesn't matter if. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> do you mind? I'm talking to my demon. <laughs> Holy crap. This is the spell casting that he was talking about. Is that right? So Xander is afraid that he is. Watch this. Being left behind. Yeah. I think I figured out how to steer by gesturing emphatically. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dream symbolism, Anya. This is nuts. Sorry, pal. That's just for Tara and Willow alone. These will not protect you. How many pieces of cheese are in there? Do you think the cheese? <laughs> okay, this is gonna be tough. Do you think the cheese represents our group? Because the guy said, like, I made some space for cheese. The cheese won't protect you. Hmm. And the others have gone on ahead. I'll listen very carefully. Of course, everyone's always ahead. My video is rentrant le vrai normal. La créature ne peut pas te faire de mal. What? All right, someone tell me what they said. <laughs> yeah. This is what Sander feels like when everyone's like talking about plants and mm -hmm. shit. I can't hear you. C'est pas important. Je t'escorte. On y va. Well, wait. What? Oh my god. And the green can mean envy. He's envious everyone is in college but him. And he remembers it getting better, but it never does. <gasps> okay, okay. Everyone in the comments is like, guys, you're way like, off. Come on. <laughs> I walked by your guidance counselor's office one time. Bunch of you were. <gasps> That's the principal. There. Snyder? Yes. His future is a bunch of mulch. Yep, that's Snyder. <laughs> you know, I never got the chance to tell you how glad I was you were eaten by a snake. <laughs> yeah, that reminded us too. Well, I'm supposed to meet Tara and Willow. And possibly Buffy's mom. <laughs> oh, yeah, why is he just like into everybody? You're a whipping boy. Oh. Raised by mongrels and set on a sacrificial stone. Damn, okay. That hurt. There are some thought. Giles? I can fight anything, right? Maybe we should slap her. Anya, maybe we should slap her. <laughs> wow, this is this is fucking amazing. Buffy! <gasps> oh my god. Oh, that's fucking cool. He's afraid to go up there. All roads lead back to the basement. And that's where he'll always be. There's so much symbolism in this. Ashamed of us? You haven't kept the heart. 
Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, holy shit. Don't you think it's a little old fashioned? This is the way women and men have behaved since the beginning, before time. Oh, his furniture is gone, and it's just Buffy. She always wants to train this badly. It appears she's never heard the fable about patience. Oh, I hope he's still with her because we haven't seen her in a while. I hope so too. I am a vampire. Oh, you staked me. You did it. You did. Oh, you, oh, you staked me. <laughs> Whoa. I know you. I know you. <gasps> you know. Such a freak. Well, at least the showbiz. I'll take it. Come on. Yes, honey. Yes. I wear the cheese. It does not wear me. Honestly, you meet the most appalling sort of people. I wear the cheese. It does not wear me. <gasps> that could also have meant that, like, Spike was stealing the spotlight a little bit. Maybe. Because he came in. He's wearing on his head, um, there's, there's, a, there's a duck. Is that right? Oh, no. Suck. Quiet. Hey. You missed the humorous conclusion. <laughs> I don't think we stand a chance. It's strange. It's not like anything we've faced before. Yes, honey. Yes. Go on, sing your heart out. Animal evil that's come back seeking. I'm yeah, not sure already. what we'll all look through the chronicle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, where is it going? The way my brain is working overtime right now, I'm like. Well, that was obvious. Time is running out. Oh, fuck. You underestimate me. You couldn't know. Oh, you never oh no. Let me get this right. Willow is the voice. Xander is the heart and Giles is the brain of the group and i and i think that I, I actually think that they're following the cards that they each laid down i need my beauty sleep so stop it okay oh shit and i feel like because anya is showing up in all of their stuff i feel like anya saw something happen to willow and is trying to wake them and she's like getting in there in their head maybe it's completely wrong here I'm never gonna use those. What was the picture? It was hands. Okay. Which was the, the fourth card that was laid. Be back before dawn. Okay. Oh, hi, honey. Oh. <laughs> Why are you living in the walls? Oh, oh, sweetie, no, I'm fine here. Don't worry about me. Oh. I really don't think you should live in there. <laughs> I don't think so either. Well, you could. We found one of our friends. He could probably break the wall, but she doesn't. Mm -hmm. She just ignores her. We're drawing up a plan for world domination. The key element, coffee makers that think. Cure eggs. Smart cure eggs. That's Adam. We're oh. not demons. Is that a fact? A lot of filing. And it's so interesting that the gun is pointed at her on the table. Oh, she brought Ublek. Is that what was on her face before? I think so. In Giles's um, dream or vision? Or maybe this is like Predator where they're trying not to see them. I wonder what kind of flowers is on her dress. I wonder if that's symbolic of something. Someone has to speak for her. Let her speak for herself. That's what's done in polite circles. Okay, I see, I see. The Slayer. The first. <gasps> the first Slayer? We are alone. 
That's it. Ah! I'm waking up. Ah! It's over. We don't do this anymore. Buffy now sets the rules. Crazy. Buffy fighting with a rogue slayer and then also with the first slayer. This is crazy. Are you quite finished? <laughs> The Slayer's power was an affront to the source of that power. You know, you could have brought that up to us before we did it. <laughs> the spirit of the first Slayer tried to kill us in our dreams. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Yeah. yeah that actually would be great. Uh, well, at least you all didn't dream about that guy with the cheese. <laughs> the guy with the cheese. You think you know what's to come? What you are, you haven't even begun. Whoa, that was so eerie. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was our reaction to Buffett's Vampire Slayer season four, episode 22, Restless. Now, what are your thoughts? That was a really fascinating episode. I really think it's interesting that the spirit that they brought back, because I thought that it was just going to be some like random primal evil thing yeah that it turned out that it was the slayer they invoked the spirit of the slayer which came to them as they wanted so was the per the the spirit that buffy used she was pretty much having a slayer with her to do that or is that just the magic like to kill adam i think that or was that just the magic of the of the spell so i think that the spell was that they were invoking the spirit of the slayer to like all connect into buffy and Got it. bring the the spirit the heart the mind and the hands together to mm. defeat adam got it and then interestingly i in this episode and i kind of want to go back and watch the last episode and then this one again next to each other yeah to really like dig into all the symbolism but yeah. there was so much to take in here and i do think that it was it was connecting to their inner fears at least everyone maybe except buffy because buffy was fighting back against the spirit a little bit more well to me it kind of felt like uh she was cutting the ties yeah from them all so i guess she wouldn't have taken anything from her yeah so I, I really like this episode. What do you think? See, I, one, I think it is a very ballsy, risky move to have this kind of episode be the finale mm -hmm. of your season. Not saying it's a, it's a bad thing, but I'm like, I like maybe television at the time or like, just like, cause we are able to go into the next season, right? Yeah. But for them, to them, like this is where we're ended and it, it just leaves you wanting more answers. So like, obviously you're hooked and wanna go into season five and see where it takes it there. Um, but overall, I loved it. I love the visuals. I just love how just like, creative decisions that directors take on shows like these where like okay we've seen the usual recipe right but let's kind of turn it up a notch and go crazy here and i think that's what they did and there were just so much symbolism that they like poured into each character and that you can really break this down and kind of create your own essay on what it all meant in the overall story um and of course we don't know what's going to happen for the next three seasons so we can't really like pinpoint that and i'm sure like maybe some of you guys are going to be wanting to like tell you tell us what's going on but like if it if it includes anything past this episode uh we kind of just want to like theorize i guess but i still believe that the man with the cheese was representative of everyone in her life or like someone in her life but because at the end he only held two pieces of cheese or it's just a kind of fuck you from uh the creators being like this actually is just a man with cheese don't think don't think too much into it this i don't know i definitely think that it, it means something but i think i need to rewatch to really break it down some more but because I mean, he said something different to each of the characters and i think that 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 should indicate something and i think what you said about anya i think it was on the money but i think it's actually with tara because i kind of feel like or actually could be either way because Anya was 
a demon before they could have connected her image or like her soul or whatever um into their dreams and kind of communicate it that way mm -hmm. but i do think it especially because tara especially how we witnessed her throughout the season has such a strong connection to magic i kind of feel like they used her as the voice to for the slayer for yeah. the entity um but i i find that interesting you could really like little things like why did xander dream up snyder did snyder was snyder such a big influence on on xander that he, he was present during this time seems like he was like kind of like the general of the of the location he was at um or even like i mean the whole i think big revelation for me was getting more of xander's life there where he was speaking with his dad he was afraid to go up but or like you know he's kind of seeing like he's separating his life from his family life something that we haven't seen before and he's afraid to go over there to show us what's behind the door and then when it's his father he's like ashamed no well, no well, because he was like are you ashamed of us um and he goes like no you don't understand i i just all that stuff is just so interesting to me and hey we could be off the mark at some points but this is just this is just us playing with what they give us yeah and i also think that they ended this so great because we heard tara's voice saying something like you think you know what you are but you have no idea what's to come what does that mean? and i think it's i think it's a great way to like say we're not you're not done yet you think that you're in control of your destiny you think that you have shed the watchers council and like become your own person but even you don't know what the future holds but it's not done with you yet interesting and i like the fact that like the first layer herself was even trying to put buffy in a box like this this is not how you're supposed to be you're supposed to be a killer you're supposed to be you have this mentality and maybe maybe in some sort of way the first layer was trying to help maybe like she was trying to warn buffy in a way do you think i think maybe because i feel like you're gonna have to get rid of those other factors in order to be who you are but again like it, like you said like there's the watchers that i feel like we have in this season besides the whole initiative had this struggle in a while for buffy you know about like oh i don't want to follow my destiny and I feel like there's something else that she needs to do, yeah. obviously because they told us at the end, but like there's something else that she needs to do. And I think that she's gonna have to struggle with that. I think so too. And that makes me nervous for our friends, <laughs> especially how like, how we visit each of them. It kind of seems like <sighs> we're in for some trouble. <laughs> All right guys, so you know what to do. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought about these two episodes. As usual, make sure that you're keeping them spoiler free as much as you can, especially in the comments. You know that we just want to gather each and every single information, piece of information that is thrown at us when we are watching it, when we're hitting record and not in the comments. I know that you guys want to tell us like what everything means. By all means, please do, but try to avoid anything or even like winks or, or things that are going to be leading into whatever is going to happen in the future because we kind of want to just to keep theorizing. Yeah. We also want to give a special shout out to our patrons thank you so much to each and every single one of you you have no idea how much we appreciate your love and your support over there if you want to be part of the patreon gang go over to patreon.com slash the hard bandwagon benefits are at three dollars and up and what you'll find next week's two episodes and the, probably the starter of season five full length reactions in picture in picture and if you want to unlock exclusive emotes to members only lives and watch alongs, you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. Big thank you to those YouTube members and those who are YouTube members and Patreon members. You guys are freaking awesome. But until next time, we have been your source for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? And sometimes cookie entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.